Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely uh, rainbow background effect um, using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Uh, so first of all we are going to want to create a simple HTML uh, web page to host this. So uh, we're going to want a doc type of HTML uh, because that is for HTML5 document which is what I will be working in today uh, then we need to open our HTML tags and then I always close them as I go so I can keep track of them uh, we need a head uh, element uh, this is read by the browser it's not read by uh, the user doesn't exactly see this uh, part of HTML5 specifies that we need to have a title uh, so I'm just going to call it background fade. This is what will appear at the top of the browser. As you can see here, we've got background fade. Uh, that is defined in this title tag. Uh, so background. And that also needs to be closed. Uh, that is it for the head, basically. Uh, well actually I say that uh, we're going to be adding two more lines to that later on um, and we also need a body this is where all the content goes uh, that the user will see on the page uh, in this tutorial I'm not exactly going to put any content in because we're only focusing on the background um, so I'm going to go ahead and save that um, in here I'm going to call it index because that is what we usually call uh, base HTML files uh, I'm using sublime editor here because uh, it colors it all for me it's a nice text editor if you haven't uh, come across it before uh, we're also going to now want to create a new HTML file uh, so oh, not a new HTML file sorry a new CSS file uh, this will hold the styles for our page. Uh, I'm going to be targeting the body, um, the whole body element, uh, and I'm going to be adding a background uh, to start off, a default background of red. Uh, and in hex, I'm going to be using hex values, and that is ff0000. Uh, and they all need to be, all the styles need to end with a semicolon. Uh, and I'm also going to add, to make it, as you can see, it's fading away in the background. To do that, we use something called a transition, uh, which is a CSS-free uh, style. Um, and I'm going to be giving that, uh, that's going to be targeting all, just for ease of for this tutorial. It's going to take 1.5 seconds to complete. Uh, and the style is going to be linear. There are other styles, uh, for example, ease in, ease out. Uh, but that is not in the scope of this tutorial. Uh, I'm going to save that as style.css. Uh, again, it's all coloured. Uh, now we need to link this uh, style sheet to our previous page. So if we go back to our HTML file, type in back into the head. If we type in link, uh, it's going to be a H. So we do type first a type of its text and its CSS text uh, we need to type in the rel which is a style sheet and then finally we need to tell the document where the sheet actually is so it's just literally in the, the same file and it's style.css uh, and links don't need to be closed um, so that is it for that if we loaded this page up now uh, all we would see is a red background as you can see here that's all we have is a red background uh, so if we go back now we're going to need to create the fade effect which is done using JavaScript so we're going to want a new file quickly another new file uh, I'm going to go straight ahead and save this one as script. So all the stuff's coloured straight away. And we are going to want to create uh, a counter. 
keep track of what colour we're on. So counter equals zero. Uh, we're also going to want. I'm going to create the rainbow effect. So we need seven colours. Um, so we're going to want a array here, JavaScript array. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I'm calling it colours, um, and it's going to have fs 0, 0, 0, 0, which is the colour for uh, a for red. Uh, I've already got the colours already over here, and to save a bit of time, I'm just going to copy and paste them in. Um, you can pause this video and copy them in if you wish. Um, then we are going to want a function. We're going to need two functions in this program. Uh, one, which is going to be called setup, uh, and this will be run once the page is loaded. And it's going to have uh, one line of code in it, which is set interval. Uh, set interval will call a function every x amount of seconds. So I'm going to call it every. It's done in milliseconds, so that is equivalent to 1.5 seconds. Uh, and this matches up to the fade effect uh, in our CSS. Um, and then we are going to want another function which will actually change the colour change colour, you can call these whatever you want um, and we're going to need another variable I'm going to call this one body and this will access the document object model uh, and assign the body element to this body variable it's just ease of access later on, saves typing document dot body all the time uh, so that has now declared document dot body to body uh, then we are going to want to change the background of the body so we can type in our variable body dot style dot background color equals colors this is e uh, accessing the array with the counter number. Uh, arrays always start with zero, so this array is actually going to go from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, even though there are seven colors uh, in here. Um, underneath this, uh, we're going to need to put a simple if-else statement, uh, because if the array gets to, at the moment, the counter does not get increased by one as we go. Uh, we also need to check if it gets to six, that it has to be reset back to zero. Uh, so that's done with a simple if statement. Um, so we're going to do well, not in uh, if counter equals six, then counter equals zero. Uh, again, I'm using the semicolons. Uh, else counter plus plus. So if the counter does not equal 6, just keep adding 1 to the counter. If the counter equals 6, then reset the counter back to 0. Uh, now we need to link this document, this scripts file, to our HTML page. Again, that is pretty easy to do in the head element. Uh, if you type in script uh, source src. Uh, and uh, what do they call it? Script dot js uh, and close that. And script elements have to be closed off as well. So now that we've assigned the documents to the page, uh, we need to call these functions. Now the only function we need to call is this setup one. So once the page has loaded, um, the JavaScript document can then access the body element from the DOM, the document object model. Uh, and we can do that with a simple on load. And uh, we call we call the setup function. So when this uh, HTML page is loaded, the body will call this setup function, which is in here which will then set the interval of 1.5 seconds and call this function every one and a half seconds. So now if we load, if 
we reload this, it should be a background and it should fade between all of the colours, which it has begun to do. Uh, and the fade is done again by that CSS effect in here. That is pretty much the key feature here for the fade effect, as well with the JavaScript. <laughs> uh, so that is it. We've made a simple rainbow background. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.